What allowed you to get back in the game, coach? You know, we we're just resilient. We're the, you know, resilient team. We, we fought through, uh, you know, a lot of missed opportunities. You know, I felt like we had a, a bunch of opportunities to to close it out. And, uh, you know, we, we just kept fighting. So, um, you know, the last defensive stop was kind of indicative of, of, you know, our, our toughness tonight, you know. Um, Karras comes up with a huge rebound at the end. Spencer gets caught in a switch against, you know, one of the best players in the league and does a heck of a job. Um, so that, that was kind of like the, the, the picture I, 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 I leave, you know, from this game. But uh, they're a heck of a team. I think they're an excellent team. Um, it's, it's a really good win for us, especially in front of our home crowd. I know it's early in the season, but mentally, does it feel like a sigh of relief? following the New Orleans, the way that ended, three-game losing streak, and to pull it out the way you guys did? Well, then, if you think about our game in Detroit, you know, where we had a shot to win, so we're, you know, it's a great sign we're in these games, that, you know, and, and you, you know, regrets when you don't win, like in New Orleans, and you think of the 30 things you could have done better, and then, and then, you know, a night like tonight where you do close it out, and you do make the plays, and, and uh, you do get the stops. Um, so it was, it was a heck of a basketball game. I mean, it was a um, fun basketball game to, to be a part of. In, in some ways, though, you know, building off of that, uh, do you feel like this was kind of a gut check for this team after losing three straight like that? Yeah, and, and especially I, th I thought, uh, listen, going into halftime, I was not pleased. Uh, you know, I know we were down six or eight, but uh, we were not playing well. I think uh, we started out, you know, gangbusters. We were, we were absolutely, uh, uh, you know, we were outstanding. I think we were up 27-12, and then the wheels fell off. You know, uh, we, we made some substitutions, and, and it kind of, you know, uh, tumbled from there. And then... Um, I think, uh, you know, by halftime, I was just, we were just very disappointed in our play. I think, you know, we let them know about it. And uh, to their credit, they, they, they turned it around. And, and part of the reason I was upset, just missed coverages and, you know, some, some breakdowns in transition, just, just uh, um, you know, general lack of, of, of focus. So I'm glad we refocused and, and got back on track. I know you tried a lot of things throughout the course of the game and even looked like maybe had a couple spots of zone <laughs> even look like yeah we played some zone did you did you change anything tactically say near the end of yeah regulation last four five minutes and i guess secondly i know spencer obviously loves playing this team could you just touch on right what he gave you right no we we got more aggressive and you know the last play it was obvious we switched everything but i think uh we we just you know, uh, you know, kind of instead of giving up that mid-range shot, we kind of stepped up our, our bigs and, and, you know, made them see our, our, our big. We didn't want to even get, get mid-range shots off, and, and uh, so that, that, was, that was a bit of a change. Um, what can I say about Spencer? He was, you know, uh, phenomenal. I thought, I thought he struggled in the first half. I thought his second half was, was uh, uh, um, you know, great. Not, you know, not just the three-pointers, but, but him getting to the rim. I thought he caused a lot. His speed and size, it just, he, he wreaks havoc on the defense. So um, a lot of really good kick-out plays from our guys, too, just, just making that extra pass for, for open shots. Coach, you mentioned that shortly, getting into the lane and kicking it out. Uh, but with shot blockers like Drummond and Blake Griffin in the lane, what do you think about your guys' ability to continue to stay with it and continue to draw the lane? Do you think they did a good job with that? Yeah, great point. And that was, we were just preaching to them. And, and I felt like we got away from it for, for a stretch. And, and that was a timeout, kind of the refrain, keep driving it, keep driving it, put pressure on the rim. And, and you know, we obviously got shooters spread too, so we can, we can you know, make that kick out. I, th I thought that was, I thought our guys did a, a, a good job of continually, you know, continuing to drive it. At the end in uh, overtime, was that play, did you want the ball in Spencer's hands or, or was it just, you mm -hmm. know, flow there? I'm not exactly sure which player because there were a couple of plays I drew up and the play, they blew up the play and he just made an individual play. So, you know, there are some plays that, that worked. I'm not, I'm not sure that might have been, that, that was kind of him uh, uh, making a play out of nothing and that's what happens in the NBA sometimes. They, they blow up your play and now you got to, you know, kind of have an individual make a play and he did. You talked a little bit about Rondé pregame and sort of working his way back. What have you? What did you see with him today? And you know he was able to stay in the game. You kept him in the game late. So what did you see from him? 
Well, we had to, you know, we needed a Blake Griffin stopper. And I, I not saying he, you know, he, he, he slowed him down. And just his size, his ability, you know, they run, you know, pick and rolls for Blake now, you know, at the end of the game, which is, you know, amazing. Uh, you know, this is, this is kind of the new NBA. So to have Rondé, you know, or six, seven, seven foot three wingspan defender on him, it's, it's just a huge help. And then, then I thought he rolled to the rim a few times. Like we said, he made, he made a couple of plays out of the, you know, the roll that I thought were huge. So he was, um, he was outstanding on both ends. He's, you know, obviously a big part of what we do. So um, you're obviously going to see more of him as he, as he gets healthier and healthier. Coach, you talked about it, um, attacking the rim and continuing to put pressure on it. Did you like the breakdown between the amount of threes you guys took and the way you attacked the rim, specifically in the fourth quarter and overtime? It seemed like Karras knew when to go and attack versus settling for the three. Not settling for the three, but taking the three. That's the formula. That's the, we're trying to find that perfect balance. We're not out here to shoot 63s. We're not out here to, you know, we're out there, you know, to find the balance between the threes and the rim attacks. So, you know, I do remember the one Joe, you know, I got to tell Joe, he is allowed to shoot a pull-up jumper instead of running into Drummond and, and charging over him. I, you know, we, we got to make that clear to Joe, but sometimes these guys, they think I'm going to get mad at him for, for shooting a pull-up, but, uh, you know, it, it, who knows? You could have gotten a foul there, right? His, his two feet could have been in the lane and you get two, two free throws. I just think more good things happen when you do it. So, um, and you, you know, you take a, take a punishment when you go to the rim and, and our guys are, are, uh, they're doing a great job of driving it. Thanks, everybody.